and significant discrepancies between pet food products labeling and their actual ingredients appears to be commonplace among pet food manufacturers. So here we have marketing gimmicks and fancy claims, something that the FDA even warns us about when we're reading pet food labels. The label says just six, and there are 24 additional ingredients that aren't listed on the bag. Horse, which isn't on the product's list either. And then look at this, dog. Dog DNA was found in dog food. If you're new here, this is exactly why I avoid commercially prepared foods and make Jericho's food at home with raw, fresh ingredients. Hey friends, it's Justin Jericho. I've included a link to Rachel Ray's product page and the lawsuit in the description below. First, we're going to take a look at Rachel Ray's product page. So right here it says, only six ingredients with added vitamins, minerals, taurine, and other nutrients. It also says no fillers, no added corn, wheat, soy, or gluten. So the six ingredients that they highlight down here, first one is lamb meal, next brown rice, ground rice, beet pulp, and chicken fat. I think the sixth one that they include is natural pork flavor because on the bag itself, if we look at the lawsuit, there's a picture of a pig. So I think those are the six ingredients. So this is what the bag looks like. It's called Just Six, and then it has those six ingredients, uh, you know, a picture description of all of them. Included in the lawsuit, there's a DNA content analysis of the dog food. So the results are summarized like this. Lamb and rice are the top two ingredients. Okay, so far so good because lamb and rice are two of, well, actually three of the six that they say. And the next, deer, cattle, and pig are detected at significant levels. So right there we have an issue because deer and cattle aren't listed on the bag at all. And pig is, so that's okay. Next, it says corn, soy, and wheat are all detected at significant levels. So right there, three ingredients that it specifically says it doesn't contain. If we go back to the product, no added corn, wheat, or soy. And then corn, soy, and wheat are all detected at significant levels. So this is a problem because the bag says just six, says limited ingredient diet. Typically when people are looking for a limited ingredient diet, it's because maybe their cat or dog is allergic to something. And it includes deer and cattle, which aren't listed on the ingredients. And it includes corn, soy, and wheat, which it specifically says it doesn't include. And corn, soy, and wheat are typically the main contributors of allergies with pets. Also, I want to mention that Rachel Ray is owned by J.M. Smucker, who also owns Meow Mix and Nine Lies, which are some of the worst cat food brands out there. Let me know in the comments below if you knew that. So further down, we see the complete results in the table here. So sheep, which is an adult lamb, so that's fine. Rice, which is on the which is on the bag. Cattle and deer, which isn't on the bag. Pea, which isn't on the bag. Pig is, I'm not going to say this word because it's a VJAB company, but this is a legume basically. Soybean, which is something that the bag says it specifically doesn't include. Corn, wheat, horse, which isn't on the product's list either. And then look at this, dog. Dog DNA was found in dog food. If you're new here, this is exactly why I avoid commercially prepared foods and make Jericho's food at home with raw, fresh ingredients. Next, we have chicken, chickpea, pumpkin, trout, turkey, sweet potato, salmon, sour gum, zebra fish. So we have all of these ingredients, even though it says just six with added vitamins and minerals. So here we have marketing gimmicks and fancy claims, something that the FDA even warns us about when we're reading pet food labels. The label says just six, and there are 24 additional ingredients that aren't listed on the bag, one of which is dog. What's interesting is in the lawsuit, they also talk about different pet foods that were analyzed, like the, the ingredients were analyzed and they, they matched it up with the label. And it says, since 2014, virtually all scholarly researchers have found that pet foods sold to consumers frequently contains non-conforming ingredients and significant discrepancies between pet food products labeling and their actual ingredients appears to be commonplace among pet food manufacturers. So what's on the label doesn't always necessarily mean what's in the bag. Further, this isn't the only class action lawsuit against Rachel Ray's pet food. There's also a lawsuit against her zero grain products, which caused a massive spike in dilated cardiomyopathy. And the reason for this is that the manufacturer uses a lot of legume-based protein instead of meat-based protein. Since they can't use grains to bump up the protein content instead of adding extra meat, they just add extra legumes, which is plant-based, not something that produces taurine, carnitine, and all these amino acids that directly contribute to your healthy heart function. So again, this is exactly why I avoid commercial cat food and make Jericho's raw cat food at home. It's safe as long as you source from trustworthy places and handle it properly. You can check out this playlist right over Mia. It's my complete guide 
all about raw cat food for beginners. Thanks for watching.